Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and a few days ago I posted a video talking about the 270 and why I think it's a really underrated weapon and I figured today we would look at another one because you guys absolutely crushed our like goal of 300 likes and I promised that if you guys did that I would do another video on another rifle that I think is extremely underrated. So same drill here, if you guys give this video to 300 likes we will take a look at a third weapon that I think is incredible incredibly underrated and kind of show how it's used and I guess the best ways to use it but the one that we have for today is probably my favorite rifle of all time and one of the main reasons is just because of how accurate and powerful it is at long range now it does kill animals pretty slowly but it's the accuracy and the penetration on this thing that really makes it stand out and that rifle is the 6.5. Now today we're going to be using the 6.5 Rayo, which is a mission variant that you can unlock through the Quattro Kalinas missions. I believe it's part of one of the side missions, but it's an amazing looking gun. Definitely one of the most beautiful rifles in the game. Let's take a look at it in here. You guys can kind of see it down in the bottom left. I'll probably zoom in on it if I remember to, but it's a beautiful rifle. It's probably one of the nicest looking rifles in the game, and I would love to see more engraved rifles like this in the future. And because we recently started grinding for the great one again, I figure we will use the 6.5 on Whitetail today and kind of show off its long range capabilities. It is an incredibly reliable rifle at long range and honestly it's not too bad when it comes to kill time either, at least on things that are the size of a deer. That doe went down relatively quick but the main selling point of this rifle is its accuracy and flat shooting at long range. So. Let's uh, try to get these broadside and see if we can get some more shots into them. In fact, let's try a chest shot. And that was indeed vitals. So that's probably a single lung because it is dying a little bit slower. Let's see if we can maybe get a neck shot. Unfortunately, didn't quite get it, but I mean, it's whatever. Not that big of a deal. We did get a couple of them down. But I think in order to fully demonstrate the capabilities of this rifle, we need to go back a little bit farther and do some long range shooting. We've got some white tailed deer that are out here at about 340 meters. This will be a pretty good test of just how insane this rifle is. Now for this shot, I will be switching over to the Argus scope. I did bring both of them along because I think we could use both of them today. And we're gonna try and get a good shot on this guy. Now we really will not need to aim too high with the 6.5. It doesn't have a lot of bullet drop, which is one of the reasons this gun is amazing at long range and it truly excels when it comes to long range shooting. Let's wait for this guy to get his head up and then try to get a shot in there. And we absolutely nailed him. Along with the second one too. And there we go. He is now down. And as you guys saw, we really did not have to aim that high. It's still connected pretty well. And he's already down along with his buddy as well. But let's try to get back a little bit further and see if we can make a 400 meter shot. So we are now at around 410 meters. I think that'll be the shot we'll try to go for. I think this actually might end up being one of my longest shots ever if we can successfully make this. And I think with the 6.5 it should be pretty easy. Once this guy goes broadside we will try to get a shot into him. I believe we'll have to aim just above the back in order to hit this shot but it should not be too difficult and honestly if this doe just stays right there we might try her instead. And that looked to be a solid shot. Yep, that is a dead whitetail buck at over 400 meters. We barely even had to aim over the top of its back when we're zeroed for 300. Okay, so this is the very first doe that we shot. It definitely was the one that died the fastest and that was because we were the closest at 256 meters. But you can see right there, it's got enough penetration to almost completely go through the deer. And that's one of the reasons why the 6.5 is really good, even though it doesn't kill them super quickly. Uh, it does the job. It, it definitely kills them quick enough and it's got enough penetration and long range accuracy to really make up for the lack of a uh, kill time and as we saw with this second deer a single lung kills them much slower but it still does the trick and I think we got pretty good penetration through the front yeah we definitely did so this shows that a frontal shot is absolutely no issue for the 6.5 it does pretty well it may kill them slightly slower but it still does plenty to get them down 
And that was at 265 meters, so a little bit farther than the last shot even. Now, I believe these two right here were the 330 meter shots, I believe. I think the 400 one was shot further over in that direction and it ran up towards the trees. So let's grab this one right here. This is 339 meters indeed. And as you can see, almost as much penetration as it had at 260. And we did manage to get double lung liver on that shot and it dropped it pretty quickly. Overall, not too bad. This is one of the reasons why I love the 6.5 because as you guys can see, it's incredibly reliable, incredibly accurate. It will get them down, it just does it slightly slower than some of the other guns in its uh, same class range. It's always going to be overshadowed by the M1 and the 303 because those guns are, in general, just more powerful. It kills them quicker. But the 6.5 is unmatched in accuracy over long ranges, and that is one of the reasons why it is my favorite rifle in the game. Not to mention, it sounds amazing and looks amazing. All that combined is what makes this rifle my favorite and what I consider to be probably one of the most underrated rifles in the game. Uh, as you can see, it had no issues with double lung at 343 meters. And I'm really curious to see what it did on this one that was over 400 away. So I believe this is the buck that we took out at over 400 meters and I'm very interested in how it did. 408.23 meters. And it still got double lung with a little bit to spare even. That is pretty impressive, I'd say. And like I was saying, this is one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite rifles in the entire game and why I think it's incredibly underrated. Just look at the penetration at 408 meters. And I believe we just barely aimed at the top of the back and it sunk perfectly into the lungs, which makes it really easy to compensate for like the extra distance over your uh, highest zero distance. You don't really have to compensate for drop too much and you'll be able to get perfect lung shots like this. So for this next shot, I want to see what the gun's penetration is like when you actually hit the shoulder blade. So we're gonna shoot this doe while she's got her head down. And that should give us an idea of what the penetration is like through a shoulder blade. So let's go ahead and try that right there and also get uh, not going to be able to get another one. Unfortunately, I wanted to try and get a second, but they did not stick around long enough for that to happen. So there is our little doe right here. Now, let's take a look at the damage through the shoulder blade. Oh, that actually didn't hit shoulder blade somehow. Okay, that's actually uh, not what I was expecting, so we'll have to try that again, but even with a little bit more flesh to get through, it still did pretty good. Alright, so I think this is going to be as good of a test as any, just to see how amazing the penetration is on the 6.5. This buck is virtually facing us. It is quartering, but it's at a very hard quartering angle, and it's at 375 meters. I think this will be a fantastic test of just how good the 6.5 is at penetrating at long range. Uh, let's see what it can do. This is going to be one of the weirdest angles I've taken before. And actually it turned, but honestly, it's probably better anyway. So uh, let's just see what this can do. I'm going to wait for its head to come up. And that looked to be a solid shot. And it is losing HP, so we definitely hit lungs. Now, we're going to leave the doe here because I actually want to turn this zone into a doe only zone because I don't want to have to come over here to check for whitetail. I'd like to keep all of my good zones kind of condensed into one area. So we're just going to leave that doe there and hope this zone becomes doe only. There is our buck right there and he actually ran a decent bit. As you can see, he was down by the water. Now he's clear up here, but it definitely did pretty well and it did get vitals. The question is, what did it get? So we got left scapula and left lung. So even at 367 meters on a quartering buck going through the scapula, it still managed to get left lung. And that is why this rifle is as good as it is and why I consider it to be one of the best for long range shooting and just making reliable shots where you know that it's going to hit where you want it to hit and you know it's going to penetrate through to the lungs. 
And that is the one thing that really makes this rifle stand out and why I think it does have a place in the game. Although I do think it might need to be lowered in the classes that it can take at some point. I do think it's a pretty good rifle still. It's got its place in the game at least. It's the accurate long range rifle that can make pretty much any shot. You know, this is actually going to be another really good test and I'm going to try and make this my longest shot ever because my longest is 413. Let's go for a 416 meter shot. This is like right at the edge of render distance, so I'm not sure how this will go. Uh, let's get Hunter to sit so he doesn't walk in front of us, but we're going to try a frontal shot at 415 or 416 meters. I don't think this is going to go well. I think this might be the first shot that we don't make, but we're going to try at least. And that looked like a solid hit. And it just went out of render, so we're not going to know if the health is going down at all until we see the hunting pressure appear, but that seemed to drop right where we needed it. You know, time and time again, I become more and more impressed with this rifle, and yeah, you can see why right there. That is Vital Blood at 416 meters on a quartering whitetail deer. That is just beyond impressive. And once again, why this rifle is incredibly underrated, and I think a lot more people need to use it. Would I recommend it as a grinding gun uh, to replace the M1? No, but it can be incredible for long-range shots like this, and it's definitely the most reliable weapon in the game. What it lacks in speed, it definitely makes up for in just reliability and ability to make long shots. And we're about to see what the damage is like at 413. Oh, I guess it was only 413, but still, that's an incredibly long shot. And we got through the scapula and into the right lung. That is just beyond impressive. All right, everybody. So now that we have took a look at why I think the 6.5 is one of the most underrated rifles and shown what it's capable of doing, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video there, but I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, if this video gets to 300 likes, we will take a look at a third weapon that I think is incredibly underrated and just show you guys how it can be used to its full potential because there's a lot of guns in this game that don't get used too often, but have many scenarios where they can be very handy and can be incredibly good even. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below what you guys think are some of the most underrated guns in the game, and let me know how you guys like to use them. And I will try to respond to as many comments as I can, and if I see a comment that I really like, I might even put it in a video and also make a video about whatever weapon it is you guys are talking about. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!